And we are back live at the 10th Annual Santa Fe Film Festival. I am Bridget Kelly, and it is my extreme pleasure and honor to have New Mexico filmmaker, screenwriter, and producer Rod McCall. Good morning, Rod. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for being it's here. It's a joy being here. Your film, Becoming Eduardo, mm -hmm. is playing here at the festival. It plays tonight at 6.45 yes, p.m. Indeed. at the Vargas 2, and also tomorrow, Saturday, at 2.30 30. For those of you that can make that, definitely head on out for this. Rod, tell us a, a little bit more about Becoming Eduardo. It's a uh, coming-of-age story set in a small rural community in New Mexico uh, about a kid who um, has two choices. He's a 16-year-old kid, and he can be either a drug gangster or a poet. And he has to decide between those two paths and there are different people on both sides of that fence who influence him. So the movie's basically about that decision that he makes. And you have some incredible actors in this film. Yes. You have uh, Julian or Julian. Julian. Alcaraz. Alcaraz, is he the young? The young? Yes, he plays Eddie. Julian uh, is 18 years old, or he was when we shot the film, and he's uh, on his way to probably become quite a star. He just uh, got the one of three leads in the remake of Red Dawn, a big $100 million picture. And they're shooting it now in Michigan. He's going to be here at the festival um, th late this afternoon. I think you're going to be interviewing him tomorrow. Wonderful. He's a oh, wonderful. great talent, so look for him. Yeah. Great. You also have Elizabeth Pena. Yes, Elizabeth Pena. People know her name. She's, she was in La Bamba. She played um, the girlfriend. She was in Jacob's Ladder. She's done a lot of work. She's, she's kind of a stalwart of the, of the industry. And we also have uh, A. Martinez, who's a big soap opera star. People will know him. When you see, he's one of those faces, when you see him, you instantly recognize him because he's done so much TV work. And then finally, um, the young actor, Mike Denae, who's a brilliant young actor, very emotional, very powerful on screen. And he shows that in Becoming Eduardo. Wonderful. Now, you are the director, writer, and co-producer. Co-producer, yes. Of, of um, this wonderful film, Becoming Eduardo. Um, how did you come up with the idea to write it? Well, what happened was <clears throat> one of my neighbors is um, uh, Luann Johnson, who is a famous author. She wrote the book that the movie Dangerous Minds was based on. And I saw this uh, novella, um, and I fell in love with it, and I said, this would make a perfect example. Uh, this would make a perfect film. And uh, basically because it's about New Mexico and my, my niche in the industry basically has been um, shooting films about this place, about the landscape, about the characters and about the culture here. And um, that's what I've done in the past. And I, it was just, it, it hit all the, the points that I, that, that I like to include in a film. That's, it's so wonderful. Um, and, and you're actually from uh, the southern part of New Mexico. New Mexico is a huge state. It is indeed. I live down in uh, Hillsboro. New Mexico, and I teach at uh, the new film school at the NMSU called Creative Media Institute, which I... Um, I in Las Cruces? Yes, in Las Cruces. And um, uh, this is a co-production. This is the school's first co-production of a feature film, and we're very proud of that. So uh, it sort of puts us on the map creatively, we like to think. Yes. And can you talk a little bit about, um, in terms of the casting, were you involved in the casting? Oh, yes. Um, my casting director, a lady named uh, Kathy Henderson, who's kind of an iconic figure in the indie film scene, yes. she's cast uh, three of other films for me. And uh, we called her up, and she loved the script so much. She says, you know, a lot of actors at, at the level that we're dealing with are very material-driven. You know, they, they like to do good stuff about characters, about people, and about characters that uh, people care about in a, in a film and their stories. So uh, she sent it out to these people, and we got instant yeses on all of them. So, wow. you know, that's where we put... The money in the film was at the cast. I knew because the schedule was very short and we had to move very quickly and we didn't have a lot of money, but the cast really covered us, you know, because I knew that the, the, the uh, performances were going to be special, and they were. Yes. They were, ca they were capable of doing, you know, two, three takes. And that and, was it. And so how, how long did you shoot for? And you Two shot weeks. it in Las Cruces? Two weeks. No, we okay. shot it in Hillsboro and Truth of Consequences. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And, and a, as a New Mexico filmmaker, you can certainly speak to the importance of independent film and, and the kind of economic impact 
that uh, oh, yes. filming in a small community oh, yes. like oh, that. Oh yeah, no, it's Can huge. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I mean, we, I mean, uh, Hillsboro has is a village of basically 200 people, and Youth. we took it over. It became my back lot, and it has been on uh, three of my films. So uh, that's very important, and uh, it affects everybody. You know, from the local motels to the the general store where they serve food and wonderful food, and all all aspects uh, completely. I mean, and then the people become extras also in the film. So. Yes, and and then also those those small towns can then say we were in this movie exactly, and, and, and it creates a kind of tourism dynamic. It does and, indeed. It does indeed, and it it strongly affects the economy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, an incredible, uh, and, and it's just marvelous. Well, New Mexico is so fortunate to have you. Well, thank you. And um, it's marvelous that you're teaching at the CMI, mm -hmm. the NMSU, uh, New Mexico State University down in Las Cruces. Now, um, Rod, are you originally from New Mexico? No, no, no. I'm from, I'm a California boy. Okay. And uh, I used to live, I had a place in the Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles, and I came out here for a vacation. This is about 20 years ago. And I said, wow, <laughs> this is great. So um, I bought um, a, an old house in Hillsboro, and it was going to be my second home. And then after coming back and forth for three years, I said, what am I doing? So I sold my house in the Hollywood Hills and moved here full time and became, at that point, I was a TV commercial director. Nice. Done stuff for Saturday Night Live. And so I, then I decided just to tell stories um, and go into a longer form, feature films. And I, I've been very... Uh, lucky. Um, the projects have come together. I've had two films at the Sundance and, uh, uh, Film Festival and um, they were all made here. Isn't here that state. wonderful? And, and can you talk a little bit about the importance of film festivals to an independent uh, screenwriter and producer? It's basically what we have. If you don't have film festivals then there's no other way to get them out there because people come to see them, you build a buzz. And with that buzz, hopefully you can get a distributor, you can get backing for promoting the film, or you can get backing to do another film after that. So uh, it's enormously uh, helpful, the, uh, the, the film festival scene, especially a festival like Santa Fe, where you know, there's a lot of good material. It's a smaller festival, but um, it's, uh, it's well organized, and um, um, it's a great place to show your film. It's a great venue, because Santa Fe, everybody knows Santa Fe. And it's you know it's an art artsy town, and and now you can take that direct flight with yes, American Airlines exactly exactly uh, or the train from, from Albuquerque yes yeah it, it's quite from easy to get to Los Angeles right sure uh, from Santa Fe yeah. and, and it's wonderful and um, our guest this morning is Rod McCall the director writer and co-producer of Becoming Eduardo. And I believe that on the screen you can check out the movie, uh, becomingeduardomovie.com. Rod McCall, thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations thank on you. having your film uh, here at the thank festival. You. We wish you all the best, and uh, thank you so much for thank your you. time. Thank you. I really appreciate it.